Hello, my awesome and amazing Leos. It's Mel with Blue Scorpion Tarot here to bring you another general collective reading. Messages from your specific person. What is it that they wish to say to you? We're going to find out. Calling upon the trusted ancestors of my Leo viewers and subscribers to bring in the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth through the power of the numbers. And so it is. Power of number nine, number six, and number nine. Looks like we're going to the number 24. Some of you Leos could be dealing with an Aquarius or a Pisces born in the month of February. Others of you may be dealing with an Aries or a Taurus born in the month of April. You could also be dealing with a Gemini or a Cancerian born in the month of June. Another group of you may be dealing with a Virgo or a Libra born in the month of September. You could be 24, 26, 29, 42, 46, or 49 years of age. You could have been born in 1962, 1964, 1969, 1992, 1994, 1996, or maybe even possibly 1999. We could see the Hermit card kick in, possibly the Lover's card, the High Priestess, and or the Emperor. Mm. I feel like this person, Leo, has been suppressing a lot of emotions. They also had a hidden agenda. They were being very deceptive and sneaky with you before in the past. Because I'm seeing with the number four that the Emperor card could kick in, it might be that this person could be turning over a new leaf or maybe even doing a 180 degree turnaround, maybe stepping up to the plate, start taking full responsibility for their actions. I do feel that they have been thinking about you. I feel that they have not, you know, completely, you know, been like out of sight, out of mind. Our brains normally don't work that way. Okay. So... I feel like this person had a very hard time being vulnerable. They might have appeared that they were vulnerable, but I don't feel like they told you everything about them. A lot of them were wearing a false mask. They had trust issues. They allowed somebody from their past to overcome them a little bit. They could have even went back to an ex or they weren't over their ex. I do pick up that there was another third party besides an ex. But let's see what their what their attitude might be, what could be possibly going on in their environment or how may they be thinking or feeling about you. So whether you have been in no contact or if it has been breadcrumb communication. Power of number 24. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. And 24. Trusted ancestors of my Leo viewers and subscribers, what is the overall general collective message, please? From Leo's person unto them, show me what's up. Oh boy, wow. You might be dealing with another fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Uh, Leo, your person is in a lot of heavy conflict. You know, maybe prior to the connection that you had with this person, like, you know, whether you had to move on from them or they moved on from you, whatever the case may be, yes, it could have ended in, you know, a lot of arguments and so forth, but 
I feel like this is going on in their environment right now. They're at war or battle with themselves or with other people in and around them. And if they're dealing with a third party, mm, it appears that maybe things are now finally going south for them. Trusted ancestors, what is this battle that Leo's person's going through in their environment? What is this all about? Ooh. Man, oh man, oh man. Listen, Leo. You might be dealing with a Capricorn. Got the devil card coming in. Okay, so they're battling with their ego. That's one thing. The other part of it, they are in some kind of toxic... I mean, we're talking massive toxic situation here. There, I also feel that they are obsessing over you. There's also jealousy issues that are going on. This third party that they could be dealing with could be very jealous of your person. It could be that your person is also, let's just say, for example, you know, highly popular, maybe among their peers, and your person may not be giving this karmic any form of attention. Part of me feels that they're obsessing over you, okay? So I feel like there's a love triangle situation that's going on or the mere fact that this third party is creating a lot of havoc and conflict. There's also massive control issues that are also going on in their environment. What is this control issue? What is it? Blockage, blockage, blockage. Aries, Leo, Sag coming in. Like it appears that your person is also trying to avoid this third party. In the past, they could have blocked you. You know, maybe you were calling them out on some kind of BS energy, Leo, and they could have blocked you. They didn't want to hear your truth, etc. But you know what? I think this person is honestly getting some kind of backlash for how they treated you. So could it be karma? Well, yeah, maybe because you know what? The devil card can bring in karma. It can bring in karmic toxic situations. So maybe you even had to block yourself from this person and their ego and their antics. But to me, this is, again, this is more environmental. Leo energy coming in. You know, you guys have been trying to stay in your power. But they're obsessing over you. The devil card over the sun card. They're obsessing over your energy. However, fair warning is forearmed for you female Leos out there. If pregnancy is not on your bucket list right now, take the necessary precautions, okay? This person may definitely want to start a family with you. They could also owe you child support payments. That could be another thing that they're arguing about. But they're obsessing over the fact that they, I feel like they want you back. They don't exactly have a plan of action here because there's too much hoopla, hoopla going on in their environment. Clarifying the sun, something here about the truth. They want to express their truth or they're getting some kind of mental clarity about that third party. Or now they want to come in and be truthful, authentic, and transparent. You may also be dealing with an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini, or you might be dealing with another Leo here. Um, they want to have some, you know, some form of success with you. This could be about them turning over that new leaf. Clarifying the Ace of Swords, you know, but eh, it almost feels like every time they try to take two steps forward in your direction, they feel stuck or trapped or smothered or claustrophobic or they second guess themselves or their mental clarity will finally kick in. They could have a, a revelation. They could have a dream. They could wake up one day and be like, you know what? I can't deal with this hoopla anymore. I got to get out of this situation. This karmic third party... In some cases, 
you know for a fact they're dealing with a third party. This third party really does not help them to grow as a person. It's so toxic. And it's very lustful. A very lustful connection. Very self-centered connection. They're not growing with one another. In fact, there's no divine union cards. There's no Ace of Cups, no Ace of Pentacles. There's no Hierophant, no Four of Wands. This is a karmic, toxic soulmate that they are dealing with. And I think now they're waking up to the truth. They want to leave. Every time they feel like they want to leave, they get stuck. They second guess themselves. They don't know if you're going to take them back. So, but yet they're going to be bold. That's interesting. It's like they get this surge of boldness to come forward, be able to express their truth. But it's like, I don't know. You might not be buying what they're, what they're telling you. Okay. Because this person burned a massive bridge. In fact, they burned a few bridges with you, Leo. But yet they can't get you out. They can't get your energy out of their system. Maybe you wouldn't feel like this person just won't let me go. Well, <laughs> come on. They already let you go. They're just, they're being ridiculous. They need to bring in substance. That's what they have to do. They have to step up to the plate. This person wanted to control certain things in your connection with them. A lot of excuses I'm hearing. Just excuses, that, things that just didn't even make sense. Like the BS that they were giving you, it's like, mm, no, not buying it. So a lot of you could see right through this. This person does also have some narcissistic tendencies. They may not be a fully diagnosed narcissist, but this person's not spiritually awakened. They're not in their higher self. If they were in their higher self, they would clearly see that whoever they've been dealing with was no good for them in the first place. Clarifying more of this conflict in their environment. Yeah, if they're in some kind of higher level of commitment, they could also be on the verge of a divorce. You know, it could be a battle between them and a soon-to-be ex-wife, soon-to-be ex-husband over marital assets that are going on. What are the control issues with this person? Okay, they may also be a drinker or they like to go out, socialize a lot, go to happy hour, things like that. This person is very self-serving at the same time. This person has a lot of lessons to learn. You got a nine of cups. You could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. I've also got Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn coming in through the Ten of Pentacles. They're overindulgent. They could have drug addiction, porn addiction, sex addiction, gambling addiction, video game addiction. It's over. Some, there's an overindulgence. Again, like I said, them being with this karmic third party, it's self-centered. It's take, 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 take. There is no giving. It's not an equal balance between them and this other person. But the control issue is they 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 want to do things. It's my way or the highway. What is the blockage, please? What is the blockage? Wow. Okay. Uh, I got so many. <laughs> I got so many messages off of this one. Okay, there could be issues if they're dealing with a third party. Let's say they're married, okay? This is a huge marriage card. This is a marriage card, okay? This person, again, if they're going through a toxic divorce situation, they're trying to block the karmic from taking everything that they got. 
They're also, if they're not in a married situation, but they could be living to, you know, living together or something like that. This karmic could be trying to take your person for their money or your person's trying to take them for their money. Somebody's putting up a blockage or somebody has decided that they, in fact, do not want to either marry your person or your person in truth really doesn't want to marry, a, you know, the third party. When it comes to uh, if you have a child with this person, you know, there could be a blockage that's going on again with child support payments or taking full responsibility here. There's a lot of money that's owed for child support payments. You could have had to take this person to court, etc. Some of them might have not even shown up at court. I heard the phrase on the run. So I don't know, it, like some of you guys could be dealing with somebody that's on the run right now. from their parental responsibilities. They really didn't have intentions to marry, but marry this other person, but the queen of swords, like somebody's trying to set boundaries or get what they want. They don't care. It's like the karmic either doesn't care about what your person gets or has or whatever, or trying to make your person's life miserable, or they're trying to make their life miserable. Either way, it's a circus act. But the queen of swords can also talk about an ex, the hermit, Somebody went silent. You might be dealing with a Virgo or a Libra born in the month of September. Or your person's been besides themselves trying to see clarity, find, trying to find the light at the end of the tunnel in regards to who they're dealing with. Clarifying the hermit. They know that they owe you an apology. Page of Cups, but they don't know. Did they miss an opportunity with you, Leo? Maybe they did. Cancer Pisces Scorpio energy coming in through the Page of Cups. The Star card, Reconciliation, Aquarius energy. You might be dealing with a celebrity. Or maybe your person, again, is just very popular among their peers. But this is like rest and recovery, healing. They're going to have to heal after this. Again, if they're in a toxic marriage, they're going to have to heal from that. Clarifying the star, the moon card, deception, hidden agenda, secrets, imagination. Whatever's hidden in the dark is going to come to the light. We have the moon and we also have the sun. This karmic could have definitely exposed themselves to your person, like who, who they truly are. clarifying the moon all they want to do behind the scenes is just come back to you and embrace you got that leo energy coming in through the lion the head of the lion with the angel wings some of you guys will come into union maybe in the next two months here they put themselves in this situation leo because they couldn't walk the line. That's why. Yeah, they were being really sneaky. You know what? And they're going to get caught up in their own web of lies. And they're trying not to get caught. A lot of them maybe were trying to reach out to you, even if they were dealing with the third party. They were trying not to get caught by that third party. But again, something here about the truth. Ace of Swords. They're feeling the isolation. You could have felt that ghosting, the rejection, whatever. But, you know, they're going to try to come back here. Don't allow that drama back into your life right now, Leo. They have to be, honestly, they have to be in the free and the clear.
Don't let the curiosity get the best of you with this person. And don't feed into whatever they post on social media because it is not lollipops and roses going on here. Remember how we used to laugh and talk for hours about everything. They still miss you. And now they're going through the battle. The universe is fighting for our souls to be together. Mm -hmm. It's about revelation. It's about clarity. They couldn't see the beauty of the connection that they had. They, I think they felt, Leo, that <laughs> this was too good to be true. I feel so guilty about my action and what I said to you. Whether it was over the phone, text message, DM, how they jilted you, ghosted you, rejected you, went to another person, or blocked you. I'm afraid of hurting you. Yeah. Well, when they let go of the connection, they hurt themselves because they got a whirlwind of trouble. Whoever they're dealing with, it's not lollipops and roses. So don't think that your person is so living their best life. Mm -mm. No, it, it feels like there's unfinished business between the two of you. They just wanted to control. That's what I keep hearing. They wanted to control when things were going to happen, when you guys were going to go out. It, it, that's no way to live, you know. That's not healthy. That's not a healthy committed partnership if somebody's trying to control everything. Mm -mm. A lot of you didn't even know when you were being gaslighted, but you were feeling something. You were feeling something about this person there were things that were not matching up with what they were saying and where they were at and all of this. But they still want to come back in your direction, but they're definitely feeling stuck. Stuck and trapped. And trying to seek a way out or be sneaky. Try to sneak away. If they could go crawl under a rock right now, I feel like they would. Just to think. Go into that hermit mode. How did I get myself into this mess? That's what I'm hearing. How did I get... Poor choices. Poor choices. Flat out, black and white. Nothing more. Nothing less. We're going to leave the energy like this for the moment, Leo. But in the meantime, if you love this content, be sure to hit the like and subscribe button. And until next time, take care.